You know, maybe I can sneak through there without breaking the generator. But then again, my cane's made of metal, isn't it? Never mind. Hey guys, in this part, or, <laughs> wow, okay, let's skip the game title entirely. Welcome back to Let's Play, I heard something, Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. <laughs> in the last part, we got enough, well, we had enough keys to open this thing, I just decided to open it then. In this part, let's break it. Lots of money, and hitting Kane on that thing. Okay, so let's climb through this pipe. Jeez, it looks gross and overgrown. Astonishing! All my calculations led me to believe you had failed to knock out that generator. Never was good at math. Well, here's a real test for you. I found a way out to Raleigh's hideout, but unfortunately, it is doomed to failure. You're not gonna tell me I have to shoot myself out of that cannon. I'm afraid that's the only way. Now you're talking. You're really scaring me, man. Anyway, to get inside that thing, you had to steal all seven of Raleigh's treasure keys. So what are we waiting for? You show me those hollow what's-its? You mean my holographic markers? Yeah, yeah. And I'll swipe whatever it takes to get shot out of that cannon and steal back my family's devious raccoonus. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Though that shouldn't work in real life. Deal with it. It's a cartoon. <laughs> I mean, I'm playing a raccoon, for crying out loud, and he's bipedal. That doesn't work in real life. But yeah, that's why I've been grabbing all the keys so far, because we still need all seven. Now, I don't know what those locks are doing, but just, just roll with it. It looks like we only need one to open it, but I guess it stops it from turning, maybe? I don't know. But anyway, one of the levels is not up here, but there's an extra life. Okay. Steady. Steady. Go for it! That was easy. Uh, the one level is over there, though, so we have to jump across the chimney tops. Or we could almost fall into the water, whichever floats your boat. And actually, there are only six pages we can grab, because I look over there, and I see a submarine. Now, obviously, there aren't going to be any bottles under the sea, because, well, it's under the sea. Time to be a bit sneaky again. You don't see me. You may see my hat, but you don't see me. Okay, so the gunboat graveyard. Which is, again, below decks, but I don't understand how there can be a boat graveyard down here. Ow! Dude, do you have to do it for an entire fortnight? God. So, a couple bottles right off the bat. In fact, a few of them. Oh, there are 20 in this level. Okay. This is a short level. Go into the water. Don't like you. Alright, so obviously there's going to be a lot of water platforming, which is basically your bottomless pit, but there will be platforming with bottomless pits later. Don't worry. Ooh, that was close. Why would you belly flop the nails down? That sounds so painful. Go away. This, get rid of the uh, searchlights. This. Um, you may be wondering where to go now. Well, actually, you can still climb up these ropes. Up into the crow's nest. And this rope. Up onto... Oh, really? You guys downed an airplane? Wow, that's impressive. Ooh, that was close. Okay, we can't grab those unless... Get... Nope, my cane's not long enough. Sly, fix this issue. Get like a plank of wood and stick your cane onto it. That should fix it. Um, they're sort of watching me. Creepy. Anyway, 
So now we got rid of that, we can get those clues. I keep calling them bottles, but they're in bottles, so why not? We're already halfway done, so... Gives us a good idea of how far we are in the level. Other than being creepily watched, I was seeing if I missed a bottle down there. Doesn't look like I have, so we should be good. Time to put some guys down. Cross. Way with you. Now we can be sneaky with this guard, or we could just drop down and kill him. But well, what fun is that? Roll or dive away, whichever floats your boat. Die! Alright, so now we need to jump across here. Jump across there. Across the water. And, oh, yeah, that makes the platform a little bit trickier. And you're done. No thanks, I'm driving around squish today. Now we have all the bottles. Now it's just a matter of finding the vault. So I guess that. Oh, there it is. Press the circle to enter the vault. One was cake. Input 719. Really? Oh, there's a bit of slowdown here, like some lag. Open that up. Voila. Oh, you lucky sly. This page features Karen Cooper Giwa's coin magnet technique. All she had to do was stand near money, and it would magically jump into her purse. From now on, you'll automatically collect any coins you come near. That is actually very useful, believe it or not. But it's not a triangle ability, you see that? So, we don't have to stand still and grab it, we just have to stand there with money. Now we have six of seven keys. But, the next level isn't a platforming level. We have a nice little map of the area, though. So back to the hub. We actually need to get down there, as you can see, because there's another level over there. So we just jump through this zone. I want that life. Risky. So that. That was just stupid. You actually have some invincibility frame, so if you lose your charm and then fall into the water after being hit, you'll be fine. You'll just jump out. And, well, we're in a submarine. At least I think that's a submarine. A treasure in the depths. You see, it only has a key to be collected. You found it, Sly. This is where Raleigh's gang of crabs stashes his sunken treasure. Use your sub to blast them. The left analog stick controls the sub. Give it a try. Great. Use the right analog stick to fire its gun. Uh-huh, that's it. Remember, you can always drive the sub in one direction while firing in another. To earn a treasure key, you'll need to collect all 40 chests. Do not let a crab take one into a two. Alright, so now we're playing a bit of a twin stick shooter now. So the objective is to kill the crabs and shoot the chests. I don't know how this is collecting it, but whatever, it does the job. So... <laughs> Yeah, we just basically have to puppy guard all the chests and prevent any of the crabs from grabbing them. Or if they do, just shoot them in the face. And as you can see, it's not hard. You just have to be very observant and you have to know what you're doing. And you just have to be kind of decent at twin stick shooters, which, very thankfully, I kind of am. I'm not the best, but I'm certainly not the worst. Go away. You can stay away from that chest. Hey! Give me back that chest. See, we're already at 31. In fact, I'm not even really paying attention to the counter. I'm shooting everything. It's not a matter of getting it done right. It's a matter of getting it done... Uh, hey! Uh, better luck next time? <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so sometimes, sometimes, even no matter how observant you are, you will still miss a chest. Thankfully, though, you don't have to go through that tutorial again. Just be more observant next time. I find that weird. I did not see that crab at all. I guess it's just the Let's Player's Curse. I'm 
just have to break everything. And again, just kind of guard the chest. Don't let the crabs near them. Focus the chest before you focus the crabs. Of course, if you can do both at the same time, that's wonderful. I guess at this point, it's really just the same thing. Go away. Listen for the sound effects. It'll make a horn sound when a crab grabs a chest. I don't see any crab, but I did hear a horn. I think it was just because I killed the crab that grabbed the chest like right away. Stay away. See, we're back up to 30 already. Crap. No. Drop it. Drop it. Yeah, things get a little frantic towards the end, though. But there we go. And now they're kind of cowering so we can kill them all. And that's that. We have all seven keys. Ah, uh, we got some time. I think we can take on Raleigh. Although I think he's a boss, so he should deserve his own part. But who cares? I'm going to take him on anyway. So all we have to do is just run over here. Jump up here. Use all the keys. And do the insane and jump into the cannon. Aim. Fire. And somehow, we don't die. And this is called the Eye of the Storm. It's really the Raleigh boss fight. How delightful. We have a guest. The only thing is... I hate unexpected guests. Listen, Raleigh, wipe up my family and steal what's mine. You better expect company. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. How sloppy of me not to finish the job. Obviously, we should have snuffed you out as well. So, without further ado, let me make amends by what? Bloating to gargantuan size and squashing you like the insignificant bug that you are. Bring it on. I would like to beg to differ. So the Raleigh boss fight's a bit strange. He swallows a bee and bloats to the size of a huge toad. So the objective is to not get crushed. So just keep running to one side. And if you pay attention, he'll... Whoa, crap. I don't have a lucky charm either, so that's going to restart the fight. If you pay well enough attention, he'll eventually, like, de... I'm not sure what to call that. He'll just kind of go back to normal. In fact, I think he's kind of... Yeah, you can stay on one platform and run around. It's a little bit trickier this way, but you can do it. You just smack him. He takes about, I think that's five hits. And now all the platforms that you're not on will sink, and you have to dance around. So see, you have to do it the harder way. Smack him again. Actually, it's four hits. All platforms arise. Then pay attention, I think, because, yeah, every platform he smacks, it'll sink. So just kind of do that. And I think this one, yep, just smack him again. Now one more shot, and I think this time, yeah, again, with all the platforms sinking, but this time, I think maybe, okay. Oh, no, we, we're not going to play hop, skip Joe, skip rope. So yeah, the fights are interesting, but easy peasy. You're no match for Mugshot, my villainous cohort in Utah. You will see. Mesa City is so well guarded, a snake couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. <laughs> Raleigh section of the Thievius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's Ninja Spire Jump. A technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox, who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew.
With the storm machine out of commission, boats found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather, and then headed back home, excited for our next heist. I took the liberty of pinning your mission map up on the wall. You can use it to warp directly to any levels you've already visited. Yep, and for completing the level entirely, as you can see, we have some spoils. I don't know why we require a statue of Raleigh, but we do. So our next destination, We're all set to go to Mesa City. United States of America in Utah. And Murray's here. What you up to, dude? Ow. <laughs> that looks like it hurts. Oh, okay. It's all good then, I guess. But yep, our next opponent's Mugshot. And, well, can you guess what he is by the bone? Well, at any rate, I'm going to end the part off right here. Kind of like the first We're all set part, to go really. Because, really. I mean, I complete the tutorial mission and then just stop the video here. So I'm going to do it again. So, guys, the next part, we're going to make our way to Mesa City in Utah, United States. So, until then, I'll see you guys in the next part. Farewell.